Ready to go? Uh, uh, I gotta get my crown proper. <laughs> gotta get, gotta have the fucking dirty old man comb over. I gotta creep the bitches out proper. <laughs> Welcome to the first ever Blunt Cast. It's where we come together and we talk about current issues uh, in Blunt music, things that we have going on, future projects, exciting news, and also we uh, give you some commentary on current projects that have nothing to do with us other than that they're going on on planet Earth. Don't you want to talk about Russia, Jacob? Crimea River. We also talk about a lot of random bullshit. Yeah, that's what I was talking about, the random... Miley Cyrus. Projects on Earth. Tech 9. And if they ever had sex together, they would probably make a beautiful baby that would be a wrecking ball in the hip-hop industry. <laughs> <laughs> with mad rap a strange, skills. A strange wrecking ball. Yes, with mad rap skills and or twerking skills. Yeah, yeah that twerks. Got an album dropping digitally on the 20th of April. That's this Sunday. You're going to be able to download it for free from Bandcamp. 420. Yeah. Easter. It's haha -ha because the album's called Blunt and it's dropping on 420, which for those of you who don't know, is the international holiday for the smoking Peach weed. Mary Hoochie. For smoking weed. For the ganja. Um, anyway. The album is really, 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 really dope. Um, at least we feel like it is. Uh, when did you start working on the album? When did you start working on it? I started working on it about five years ago. Five fucking years ago. Yeah. Because I actually posted a picture on Facebook like a couple days ago. And it was a picture of you and me when I was out here visiting to work on some project with Jay. And fucking... That was the first time I ever heard you being like, so I'm working on this album called Blunt. And that was like 2009? Yep, yep. Shit happens in between. I mean, I can tell the whole story, but I mean, in short, uh, I, got, I got married, I started working, Jay went through some shit, and, uh, but we never really lost full sight of the album so finally we get to we get to give it to you guys and you get to listen to it finally fucking this sunday is sunday day. sunday fucking sunday 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 420 is the big fucking one so it's finally finally gonna happen and the you album get to drop that deuce the album artwork <laughs> is fucking incredible oh shout out to uh to mike vela and ali the prodigy uh both you guys um obviously tony and myself as well uh from from the inception though uh when i went to mike with the uh with the original logo design with the um the blunt vinyl record deal that Mike the turntables the turntable that turntable deal and he he uh he drew it up and um he didn't even charge me nothing I'm still gonna get you Mike don't worry uh but nonetheless uh from that uh it, to going up to Redmond and then hanging out with Ali and Ali Bill. the prodigy uh Ali and Bill is somebody who I met them through Back when I was working for Ground Zero Online, they were working on... We actually met Ali through Nat Morley, which is crazy because she lives out in London, but she knows a lot of artists. And she's like, if you guys need to draw a comic, because we were going to try and do a Ground Zero Online comic book. And she's like, this guy's a great fucking comic illustrator. And she's from London. So when she put me in touch with this guy, I figured he probably doesn't even live in this country. Turns out he lives right in our fucking backyard. I'm out here in Olympia, Washington. He lives out in Seattle. So our Redmond, which is like an outskirt of Seattle. It's, you know, it's just, a, it's, it's not a big town, you know, nothing, nothing important from Redmond, like Microsoft. <laughs> <laughs> I got a hold of Ali one day and I was like, man, my friend Jacob's working on all this shit and we were hoping you could make a drawing of him. And it was so sick that we conned him into doing the whole entire fucking album artwork. So he did what? Like, hey man, I gave, to be fair, I did, I gave him stick figures. Straight up stick figures. Like stick ideas. drawings. Uh, I'm going to flash across the screen right now. Look, check it out. 
What you're seeing right now is Jacob's original concept drawing. And then this picture, this is a photo I took. Once we did the stick figure drawings, we're like, okay, let's take some photos of you at these different angles to give him something to work with. So we had Jacob out on my porch, laying on the ground, laying around in my yard, laying on my kitchen floor. And we snapped all these pictures, sent them to Ali, and now the picture you're seeing now, that's what Ali sent us back. That's the work he does. So it was fucking incredible, and it made the album art just Yeah, much off props, the chain. much props, Ali. He really, really hooked it up, man. Um, as far as the music goes, uh, a lot of the music, like uh, I've already talked about it, was written a long time ago. However, uh, we've been working on it on and off for a very long time, trying to get sound right. Um, it's been a it's been a long journey. Um, for those of you who don't know, um, what's my name came out in 2011, I believe, or maybe it was. I think it might have been 2012, and that was um, that was in preparation for Blunt to be dropped and it really really did turn out to be a very really beautiful project um, I really hope you get the chance to listen to it obviously if you're seeing this video you probably have some kind of interest in in checking it out so I really encourage you to take the time to sit down and listen to it even in a couple different environments um, from a car stereo that has really really good bass to um, a pair of headphones that I listen to everything in headphones. What I'm saying is if you listen to it in headphones, you're going to catch a lot of small things that you're not going to catch uh, in a larger stereo system. But if you if you listen to it in a vehicle or somewhere with a subwoofer, you're going to get a, a lot of low end elements. So, you know, the best thing is to listen to it in headphones with a subwoofer going in as well. So, yes, <laughs> definitely, definitely check it out on all systems. It was mixed by this guy and mastered by this guy him and jay rush did all the mixing all the mastering all the production he did the writing they made the beats it was terrible it wasn't like this isn't oh we downloaded the fucking beats off shadowville no these are all original blunt music beats this is a fully original legit piece of artwork so you guys need to drop in check it out we're talking about how to stop by and check it out we're gonna give you an opportunity all the fans to be able to check it out a little bit early and that way you'll be able to know some of the some of the more detailed songs for 420 all you got to do is take this picture and this banner and put them as your profile picture and your banner. And then you go to my website, which is facebook.com backslash Jacob Price 360. And you post on my page, past the blunt, and blunt is a pound sign. So past the pound sign blunt. Hashtag. Oh, excuse The me. young people call it a hashtag. I don't, I'm not a young person though. So anyway, <laughs> to make this super easy, here's what I'm going to do for you. Is if you look in the description, right at the very, very, very top of the description of this video, the first thing you're going to see is the link to the cover photo. Right below that, the link to the profile picture. And right below that, the link to his Facebook page. You go to his wall, you write past the hashtag blunt, just like this. And if we see that on April 18th, two days before the release of the album, anybody who did that, we're going to send them, inbox them, a link to listen to the album streaming. No shit. <gasps> no shit. Yes. Pass the blunt. You ready? Sure. And with that, I'm going to tell you to go ahead over to bluntmusic360.com or you can do bluntmusic.net. We've been working for a minute on improving uh, the browsability of our brand and our label. And part of that is for you to have a, a place to go that isn't Facebook and that isn't YouTube and that isn't that Piff or SoundCloud or Reverb Nation or any anything else that's being a built. It's going to be a, eventually a hub for what we're doing. It's under development right now. Bluntmusic360.com or .net is under development, but I'm doing the graphic design for it. We got uh, our homie Morgan is a web designer and a fucking 
genius and he's helping us along the way so it's gonna get there it's just gonna keep progressing and progressing keep an eye on the page we want to invite you to come and watch that as it progresses because it really is a cool process uh, from <clears throat> news about shows and other projects that we have coming uh, all the way to promotion for other artists that you may not have ever heard um, it's just gonna be another platform that you're gonna be able to visit and be able to soak in more blunt material more you're gonna be able to soak in more blunt smoking blunt for those of you who don't know, I drum in a band called Fresh Food. We are a local band here in the greater Lacey Olympia, Tumwater area. Uh, we have all original songs. However, uh, we sound kind of like uh, kind of like Caius or uh, Queens of the Stone Age. For I those think of you don't know lead, who Caius I, are. I think your lead singer sounds like the guy from Creed. No, no, I no, <laughs> that's terrible, terrible. Danzig is, uh, or Jim Morrison or Elvis or. You're comparing him to Jim Morrison and Elvis. Mm -hmm. You can't even compare More Jim so. Morrison and Elvis to each other. They sound nothing alike. But they both have very, very low. You. Yeah, I'm not talking about. I'm not talking about when Jim Morrison is screaming. I'm talking about. Uh, do you love him that day? Like that's that is comparable. Elvis. You're right. That is comparable to Elvis. Okay. Okay. I and the same thing with Danzig, who does uh, Mother. Da -da -da. You know what I'm talking about? No clue. No? Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> I was a big Morrison fan. My dad turned me on to, you know, like the Doors and the Beatles and all that good shit at a young age. I grew up on the Beatles, of course. If you didn't notice uh, my background, this is my room. That over there is an Abbey Road poster. That one right behind us is with the Beatles, and the one on my door is a white album. So it's all Beatles. I think you really only see two of those, so you could uh, be lying you about the might. other ones. <laughs> what you don't see is a lot of other cool shit in here. I got Tupac right over here. I got my Jacob poster right over. Yeah. Wow, right next to Buffalo Soldiers 29 Cent USA stamp. I have a giant poster of a stamp on my wall for the Negro Army. That um, it, it has a picture of Bob a cowboy Marley. on it. That Bob Marley song about, yeah, but he's a black cowboy. Eh, doesn't look like it. Everybody look up Buffalo Soldiers. It's not just a song by Bob Marley. Actually, Google Buffalo Soldier, and I got a big poster on my wall. Anyway, back to the matter at hand. Fresh food. We're going to be down at the Voyeur this Friday. That's April 18th. And doors are going to open at 7 o'clock. We really hope to see you there. We're going to be jamming out even if you are not there. And they are really good live. I'm clarifying that because I heard their YouTube fucking music sucks ass. It's horrible. No, they are fucking dope live. Come down, check it out. It's like, what, $3 at the door or 5 It's 5 Five dollars at the door, just like that one song. You know what I'm talking about? No. Um, Sublime, Garden Grove. Five dollars at oh, the yeah. door. It gets so real sometimes. sometimes. I got, got the, the microwave. Got the VCR. I got the deuce deuce in the trunk of my car. Oh yeah. Right, this is gonna conclude um this cast. Blunt cast number one. Jacob has to get back to his video games on his cell phone. I gotta get back to graphics because I'm still developing the website. Um, right. We just finished the album artwork. The album I just got the album today. I got the final, final, final cut of Blunt. So I'm gonna be listening to it tonight. And today is what, uh, the 14th, which means you guys can listen to it in 14, four days. If you do that, pass the blunt promo, get on that. We'll see you guys next time. Later. Yoro. You only record once. Yoro. Yoro.